Hi, Alan here. I wanted to show you my everyday um, emergency kit I take around me all the time. Um, this has been on planes with me all over the world and I've never been stopped for it. This, um, this bag, it is always with me wherever I go. And um, if I go on an aeroplane, this is the one I take with me in the cabin and even though sometimes I have to put it into the overhead um, the overhead act or under the seat in front of me this is always with me so I'll start with what I have here I've got one of these um, this is the paracord and a compass And I can tell you that that compass is not correct. No, still not. No, mind that. Yeah, so that's not um, so that's not very good. That compass. It's got the striker, the fire starter. bit of a spark and it's got the whistle <laughs> but the most important well I think the most important thing is it's got all that cord and it fits around your wrist and this is very good I think and then I've got one of these bottle openers you can buy these all over the world they sell them cheap and um, I've got the Phillips and normal screwdriver and I use these whenever I need one I don't just grab it if I've got my normal tools with me. I use them instead. And I have this. This is the bottle container because when I'm walking around the streets of wherever I am, I um I have a bottle of water, a small bottle of water, and I put it in here and then slip it on here. And as I'm wearing this, I throw this down the side and it sits down the side there. And then when I want a drink, I can just take the cap off tip it up and, and have a drink or I can take it out and put it in my hand then put close this and, and drink the drink the water now I have um, this is, comes with me all the time I have a spare pair of glasses I don't wear normal glasses either just magnifying glasses I always have my um, selfie stick and I have my not a proper Swiss Army knife, but it's got a lot of tools on, and I sometimes use these, um, but that doesn't go with me on aircrafts, so I leave that at home. And then, this is where I keep all my emergency stuff. I have a hat in case it's too sunny or too rainy, and that's always in there, just in case I need it. And... Uh, this is my other pair of glasses I keep these. I need um, to see things to read um, In the shop and I'm looking at price and things I can't see them so I need this And then this is my EDC pouch and This is my Emergency heart stuff that the heart specialist gave me a few years ago when I had a a stent or stint or whatever just put into one of my uh, heart veins arteries and um, it was fascinating to watch them um, going through my uh, wrist up through into my heart and I was watching this on a massive television and now they pushed this thing cleared out the vessel and then put this um, this little this little um, expandable um, tube made out of some nice mild metal and then um, pulled that scissor, it was like a scissor, scissor thing, pulled it out and it opened up and they gave me this. This is the one that goes beneath your tongue, if you feel any. But I've, I've only taken it 
two or three times um, it's a spray goes on your tongue right so and then also down just down here in in this is the band-aid and I've got two Panadol I've got some um, some some um, antacid in case I get indigestion and another Panadol and I've got a a net that goes on my hat and I put some lead weights on to hold it down if there's too many flies around which is always the case when you go touring in Australia right and that's it for that um, this is this book is stay alive it's a, I've had it for 40 years and um, it's put out by the West Australian government and you can buy these I've read um, the SAS survival guide and also the the mini guide I think it fell on the floor by um, John Lockie Wiseman anyway so and I've got two ibuprofen in case right so I'll put this aside and then get to this. this is my easy now this goes with me on on airplanes um, wherever I go this is with me because that bag is always with me I put all my daily stuff in there I put my mobile phone in there I put everything else I need for the day if I've got a bottle of coke that goes inside it a small bottle of coke or any other things that we need to carry with me so I'll take it apart and in here I have two more Panadol now these are not ordinary Panadol these are your um, these are the osteo ease ones these are 665 milligrams each not the 500 so they're a tad stronger and um, two of them make more than a thousand milligrams and in here I have a space blanket and we know how useful they are especially if it's um, emergency and you're trying to keep the wind off you or the sun these are very good and then I've got a pin, safety pin two more tablets and these are those little hand, hand towels you um, wet these and they turn into a little hand towel and I have a bag inside here but also if you've got a, any water or any container with the water in you can put one of these in put one for one litre and then um, you shake it as it dissolves and make sure a bit of it goes around the cap and the top of the container so that you clean any any um, bad stuff on the on the on the top all the way the water goes in and out I have a little pen knife bought this off Aliexpress for about five dollars and um, it's got the little blade I can't see the little and it's got I think this is a nail file and that's it there and a pair of scissors scissors with a spring and it has a um, toothpick I haven't got any teeth at the moment and tweezers that's, and that's a nice general pen knife you can have with you and just in case you need a pen knife just for sharpening a pencil or cutting something or, or um, whatever you need a pen knife for. And I've got a little torch here. Now this torch, I am, um, oh, I have it protected from, from being used until I need it. And um, that plastic go has been on there ever since I've had it. And I can see if I 
and as you can see, um, the battery must have penetrated the plastic because it isn't it isn't working and they're the and they're the correct way up so the batteries are flat and um, because the plastic must have so I'll have to look at that could be why I took it apart to have a look at so I need to address that and deal with that and I have another pin I mean pins are just useful for all sorts of things eh? so that's why that's there and another one and then this is the plastic that was in there I didn't think it would get through but it obviously has or something's conducted or the globe's gone and I have oh oh my sewing kit has come to pieces as well so this is my sewing kit, there's two needles in there and there's some sewing stuff. I mean you can, if you get a big cut and you need to be brave and sew yourself up, you can do it with that. You can carry um, super glue too and put that on to heal a, heal a big cut. I have one of these, I um, forgot what this is called, <coughs> Tampax. Um, the good thing about this is it opens up into such a, a big load of cotton wool. So if you want to light a fire, start a fire, this is the one to do it with. You can put a little bit of, put your striker on it, and um, it'll it'll light up. That's pretty good. And that's a striker. And here's a compass that that goes with me as well. And um, that that's pointed to north proper, so that one's all right. And then in here also, I've got a condom. The condom, I've um, basically put it in to carry water. Bearing in mind, it will carry a lot of water, but as it stretches, it becomes um, prone to being popped um, by anything or even just pressure. So um, if you, if you want to carry a little water, that's all right, a, a litre or a litre and off. But if you want to carry eight litres, then you would have to um, open this inside, a, say, a trouser leg or a jumper leg or a shirt arm, jumper arm, shirt arm, and um, to protect the outside of it, then you can bring it back and, um, and then use it, either decant it or use it from where it is. So very useful. I mean, you can use it for other things too. If you've got a rifle, you can protect your rifle. Um, and then that's another one of those little, little towels. And also, when you've got your condom full of water, there's more purification, purification tablets. And this is a filter, coffee filter. So you can actually pour your water through it to filter any big bits off. Um, so at least you don't have to drink the grit or the, or the little branches or twigs or things. And there's more. And I've got one of these little signal mirrors. And we know what that's for. Pretty good. And there's more. And some plasters. That, I mean, and this is with me wherever I go. So I could be on an aeroplane, say, or just walk in and I cut myself. I can just go into here, it's always with me, and just get a plaster and wrap it around me, my cut. And I have also some more Puri tabs. And I have one of these, the multi-tool. Um, there's quite a few tools on it. There's a knife, screwdriver, a can opener, bottle opener, this is for um, your little nuts. I think of them as BA nuts, 10, BA, 8, 6, 4, something like that. And then there's two more, one, two more BAs there. And that's for opening wing nuts. That's a saw. And then there's a measure there for using on a map. And then this is um, a compass, so to speak. So you're supposed to put it on a 
something that floats like a big leaf and this is supposed to find its way to north as you find its way to north as you let it float around but it doesn't work very well and that's a list of all the things that's on there the um, direction ancillary indicator not very good and then there's more I've got a plastic bag this will carry at least two litres of water when it's opened up and and there's more there's more 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 that's one of those swords you can make a bow or or just use the, the two rings or put something in the ring to pull with so you don't hurt your fingers you've got to be careful with those use them wisely and as well as that plenty have some waterproof matches um, there's only a few in there that's a just emergency and there's a striker in there as well and there's more this is a can opener one of those english army can openers yeah <laughs> around the side they're very good they're not very expensive and have a little fishing kit be very difficult you'd have to and it's got the little it's got little hooks there's my hooks so you've got to be in the right place at the right time and catching the little hooks the little fish that you want um but it's very basic and it might not be of any use um but it might be depending where you are to catch fish and there's more oh and there's a whistle that's pretty loud and i think that's everything out of there so there's a lot in there all this stuff all this stuff's in there in my bag too in my bag as well that i always carry with me this bag is always with me there it is I carry one of these ponchos, just in case. I went to Ankle Wat once and it was raining, and it was raining good and proper, so I put I put one of these on. And we also bought off a vendor there a cheap a cheap umbrella was able to go around relatively dry. Um and I've got some masks in case I have to wear masks because it's still Covid and stuff, and that's it. So that's quite a lot of stuff, and I consider it just for an emergency or just in case. And it might not be any use when the emergency arises. It might not work right, but at least you have a chance at something, um, a chance of using things to survive. Oh, like this, you know, you can use the end of the knife. It's not a very good knife, or not only very good. Um, screwdriver, um, saw, none of them are very good, only, okay for opening bottles, um, and they're, they're just not very good, but they're, it's a, at least it's an option, and also these, um, I've got a magnifying glass somewhere, I can't see it in, in here today, um, yep, so the, um, this, SAS Survival Handbook is very good. Neat. You, you ought to get it and read it. It um, was written a long time ago. I've lost me. Hang on a second. So this is my pocket one. This is just the same as this one, but of course less less writing and stuff but still all the same same good advice this is a pocket version it's still by john lofty wiseman and these are just so good just read at any section you want at any time i mean i'll read it um read it from cover to cover but these are just so good i mean the person who writes writes it wrote it lives in the northern hemisphere so most of the things are for the northern hemisphere you have to bear these things in mind unless they tell you otherwise. So that's it. So that's my um, that's my little EDC kit. Thanks for watching.